As soon as you come in, you are going to put your bandana on. Make sure you get that on so your hair is out of your face. Don't have the bandana on your forehead. So put the bandana on your head. You tie it here, tie it in a couple of knots, pull it down, put the knots in the back, flip your hair over, and voila. Yeah. All right, like that. Then you are going to take this lovely stuff, the Vaseline. Some of you have these containers, and some of you have a stick with the Vaseline on it. Now, is it gross to think about putting this on your face? Yes. Yes, gross. But here's the thing. If this is a mold release, if you don't put the Vaseline on your face, then your plaster gauze will stick to your face. So go ahead and rub that all over your face. Go ahead and put your Vaseline on your face quietly. Now, if you don't put it on there, then all these little bitty hairs, girls, we've got little bitty facial hairs, they're just teeny, teeny little ones. The plaster will stick to it. Make sure you give it, get it on your eyebrows. If you don't put it on, then the mask won't pull away from your face. You have to put it on. And if you've got the whole cylinder, or this little package, put the whole thing on. Then the next step, make sure you got plenty on your eyebrows. Then the next step is, we're going to put that on your eyebrows. The next step is, you've got two little, you've got one piece of tissue paper. It's really small. It's two ply, like on the commercial, two ply. Pull it apart so you've got two little pieces. And this you're going to put on your eyebrows just to make sure that the plaster doesn't pull your eyebrows out. Now, if anybody has a mustache, then you're going to want to get another little piece for your stash. Otherwise, it will tweeze you. Okay, get that ready. You should have your hair, hair out of your way. Uh uh, mouths are off. Hair out of the way, Vaseline all over your face. Uh, make sure you get that Vaseline on your eyebrows really well. Then put the tissue paper on. If the tissue paper is not sticking, then you don't have enough Vaseline. All right, then we're going to start covering our entire face with the Vaseline. So, the Vaseline, I'm sorry, with the Vaseline, scratch that. Take two. Once you have this all on, then you're going to put the plaster gauze on your face. Be very careful not to drag the water over your plaster gauze, the container. You need to keep that um, dry until you're ready for it. So you're going to take a piece of plaster gauze and you want to cut it if it's too wide. So it's about two fingers wide, about like that. And you're going to put an X in between your eyes. You have water at your desk. Once we start, you can't talk. Talking will break your mask. So take your first piece, you're going to dip it in the water, and then drag the plaster gauze over the edge of the, the cup. Your eyes should be up here. Then you're going to take the plaster gauze, and you're going to make an X in between your eyes. Now don't cut it once it's like this. Don't rip plaster gauze. If you rip it, then all the plaster comes out of it. So now I'm going to put an X in between his eyes. Okay, you can't smile. Whatever your facial expression is, you have to hold it for the whole 30 minutes. So I got one piece on. Now I'm going to make an X the other direction. Around your eyes is usually the weakest part of a mask. So now I'm going to put another one here. And I want to make sure that I smooth on each piece. Especially on the molds on your face, you want it to really touch every contour of your face. So make sure that you don't have like a big negative space in there. Go ahead and put on the X in between the middle of your eyes and fold it if it's too big. Then you're going to start putting on, after you get the X in between your eyes, you should go ahead and start doing that. You've got scissors on your desk if you need to cut anything. Then you're going to start just bringing that plaster around and make a frame around the outside of your face. Each piece that you put on now, you want it to touch the last piece. And if they're too wide, you're just going to cut those in half. Close your, go ahead and close your eyes.
Okay, so now I'm going to bring it around to the outside of his face. I'm going to make a frame around the whole outside of his face. When we're done, we need to have two to three coats. I'm going to fold this piece in half, about that big there. And I'm going to go around the outside between his eye and his ear. This part right here, this is a, the thinnest part, most narrow part. You should already have, right now, you should have the X on your face and start going around. You have to start now. If you don't have the X, you start with the X. Start with the X. If you already have another piece on, put that over the X, put the X over it. But you've got to start right now. Go ahead and cover your face. Cover it with one full coat to begin with. Wherever it's not the right size, after you get it wet, just fold it so it makes the right shape or size. And smooth in every single one. Once we start doing this, you really can't move your face because then you will crack your, your mask. The first time I did a mask, a plaster mask, when I was at the Art Institute, I, I didn't use the plaster gauze, I used regular plaster, and I, it got caught in the, the undercut on my nose, my nose kind of dips in a little bit right here, and when they pulled it off, it pulled the cartilage off of my nose, so I had two big black eyes. It looked pretty cool for a while. Okay, you're going to cover up everything on your face except your nostrils. Covering up your nostrils and your mouth, that would be a bad idea. Breathing, one of my favorite things to do. Okay, if you have not started, you are way behind. Get that X in between and start covering all of your face. You shouldn't be talking. <clears throat> you don't have any plaster? All right, Haley, we're going to have to get you started tomorrow. Can you give her your plaster? Okay, once you get a full coat over everything, then you're going to go over and give yourself a second coat. Make sure, really important, that you're smoothing out. Try to make it as smooth as possible. Then when you've got the, your whole face covered twice, then you're just going to sit quietly. Don't move. Just sit and relax. Close your eyes. Pretend you're at a spa. Go all the way around. Do the X in the middle. And then do a frame around your whole face. And then start filling it in. Once you think you're done, once you think you're all done, then you, once you feel it starting to get hard, then you need to start kind of pressing it a little bit to see if you've got... Uh, areas that are soft and once you once you're done you're gonna raise your hand as soon as I'm done with Nikki I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of a tug I'm gonna give it a little pressure and see if it looks good see if it feels good all right then you gotta hurry up dude put more Vaseline yeah you should be almost done with your first layer Alright, Haley, um, you can go ahead, I'll write you a late pass if you're not done, because the rest of the week's going to be short days. So put a bandana on so your hair is out of your way, cover your face with Vaseline at your desk, and then, you have a note? You're not doing it? Okay. Then help somebody else for now, and we'll, we'll get a volunteer to do one for you. Okay, now record them. Okay, guys, you need to get finished up. Don't be mugging for her. You need to get done. Me, uh, you may not talk. You have to be quiet. If you talk, you're going to move your face, you're going to move your mask, you're going to ruin your mask. Smooth each piece on as you go. Each piece you put on should be touching the last piece you put on. So, Tara, 
Karen's not back yet from the state capitol? Mm -hmm. Or does she just go home for the rest of the day? Go dress. So we are missing Karen and Gwen, Mejia. Is that it? All right. Tomorrow we're going to start designing your masks and start drawing them. So if you have any reference pictures, bring those in. Haley, you got somebody at home who would do this for you? Who would be your model? I'll let you take some plaster home and you can do it at home. Put your other piece here. Fold it and just fold it in half. Benny, you gotta hurry up, baby. I'm not. Stop getting the. <laughs> oh, come on, Ben. I'm not good with this stuff. Okay, once we all have our masks on and they've dried. Then I want you to just clean up your area because the last couple of minutes when we take them off, oh, I forgot to have to put your name tags on. <laughs> All right, shoot. All right, Susu, so, so go ahead and put the camera down. I'm going to turn it off.